In this video, what I'd like to do is try to figure out how fast in miles per hour the Earth revolves around the Sun. Now we know that the Earth doesn't revolve around the Sun in a circular orbit. We know that the Earth revolves around the Sun in what's known as an elliptical orbit. And during some times of the year, the Earth is a little bit closer to the Sun. And during certain times of the year, the Earth is a little bit farther away from the Sun. Now we could go about calculating how fast the Earth revolves around the Sun using an elliptical orbit. But what I'd like to do in this video is try to come up with just an order of magnitude approximation, assuming that the Earth revolves around the Sun not in an elliptical orbit, but in a circular orbit. This simplifies the calculation greatly. And it turns out that this approximation is not that far off from the accepted value. But also, we know that the Earth doesn't revolve around the Sun at constant velocity. We know that as the Earth gets closer to the Sun, the velocity increases, and when the Earth is moving away from the Sun, the velocity actually decreases. So again, what we're really just trying to do is come up with an order of magnitude calculation to see how fast the Earth is revolving around the Sun. Now we know that the distance between the Earth and the Sun, we'll call it the radius, is one astronomical unit. And we also know that on average, the Earth is about 93 million miles away from the Sun. That's what a one astronomical unit is. Now the total distance that the Earth is going to travel while it's revolving around the Sun, assuming a circular orbit, is going to equal 2 pi times the radius. This is the circumference of a circle, and the Earth is taking, according to our assumption, a circular path around the Sun. Now this will equal 2 pi times the radius, which in this case we're saying is 93 times 10 to the 6 miles. 1 million is equivalent to 10 to the 6. Now assuming that the velocity of the Earth is constant as it revolves around the Sun, which we know it isn't because, again, as we're approaching the Sun, the velocity of the Earth actually increases, and as we continue in our orbit around the Sun, the velocity decreases until a maximum point out here. But we're going to make the assumption that it's going to be constant velocity. Using this assumption, we know that the distance that the Earth is going to travel as it revolves around the Sun is going to equal 2 pi times 93 times 10 to the 6 miles. And we know that it takes one Earth year, or 365 Earth days, to make one full revolution around the Sun. Now 2 pi times 93 times 10 to the 6 miles divided by 365 is going to work out to be about 1.6 times 10 to the 6 miles per day. Now no one ever gives you a velocity in terms of miles per day, so what we'd really like to know is how fast this is in actual miles per hour. So we know the velocity is 1.6 times 10 to the 6 miles per day. And now what we're going to do is we're going to multiply this by a conversion factor. We know that one day has exactly 24 hours. And so what you should see is that this unit a day cancels out with this unit a day. And then you get 1.6 times 10 to the 6. And we're going to divide that by 24, which works out to be about 66,705 miles per hour. And that's our final answer. Now one of the very interesting things, just like you don't notice that the Earth is rotating on its axis once every 24 hours, which in a previous video we figured out was around a thousand miles an hour, you don't notice your velocity around the Sun because you have mass, you have inertia, the Earth's gravitational force is pulling you towards the center of the Earth, and so you don't notice this. If the Earth were to spontaneously stop, then you would actually fly off into space.